Be afraid. Be afraid, yeah. Whenever be Gina's so instructing, then she's usually the evil genius that's like coming up with all these exercises. I don't and then, know who you guys are talking about. Well, then we <laughs> get the joy. Joyful, joyful. Oh, look. So oh, how happy she is. But look at it. I got an old slide. She's never good. She's never good. All right. Oh, yeah, you too. <laughs> okay, we got to get to warming up. So okay. Wadi's ready. Sarah's ready. All right, if you are home and you are ready to go, let's just start nice, easy little side shuffle. Side to side. Or side jump rope. Side. side to side. Good. Arm swing. Big arm swing. Start opening up. Good. About another 30 seconds. Side to side, side shuffling. Good. 15 more seconds. And then we're going to add a little twist and reach. Keep going. Good. And when you get to one end now, so you're going to side shuffle, get to one end, bend your knee, twist, come up, side shuffle to the other side. Let's do it. Here we go, 20 seconds. <coughs> Side shuffling, what's up Marlinho? Good. Another 10 seconds, twist, bend that knee. So as we start getting warmer, bend your knees, stick your glutes out, good. Get lower and lower. Good, and karaoke, karaoke. So you alternate crossing one foot over and behind, good. Karaoke, 10 seconds and we'll add a knee drive. So if you're in small space, don't worry. You just do a little cross step, tap, 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 tap. Good. Awesome. So now I would like you to add a knee drive. So when that foot is coming from behind to in front, drive that knee across your body. 15 seconds, back and forth, cross. Good. Knee drive. Yes, Jen. <laughs> She's a dancer, honey. Look at her. Yes. <laughs> Time. Good. Go ahead. Pull that knee up to your chest. Nice and tall. And take a reverse lunge back. Both arms reach overhead. Take a step back. Reach. Pull that right wrist over. Pull your left wrist over. And then stand up. Change feet. So good. Opposite knee to chest. Take a big step back. Both arms overhead. Nice. Good morning. Stretch to either side. Wake up those lines of fascia. Wake up those muscle groups. Good. You have another 20 seconds, so up to you. We're not going to quite speed it up yet. This one's a nice good morning. Hi, I just had my coffee. Good morning. Good morning, Christine. Or Alana, sorry. Good. One more for life. Good. Come on up. We're going to go figure four. So standing figure four, sit down. And then when you're ready, you're going to pull it on up. And then if you can, drop down into a Cossack squat. If we can't get that low, then go down as low as you'd like into a side lunge. So start off, figure four. Pull it up as high as you can, balance, and then drop down into a side lunge. Good. Stand back up. Give a couple of high knees. High knees, get a little more active. Good. What happened? I just got to my leg about high knees. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. I heard something about my high knee. So I clearly didn't hear it right. I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> My high knee. My high knee. Like, I don't think I've ever heard you say high knee. High knee. He's checking it. <laughs> awesome. We're just singing the hot milk. My high knee is clean. My high knee. Isn't that, that commercial? So Good. Yeah. One more for like. No commercial. I think it's a cotton milk. Uh, 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 let me get it in the next up. All right, good. Next one, let's go inchworms. Let's walk our hands out from our feet. We're going to go into a downward facing dog. We're going to do toe taps on each foot, and then we'll walk our hands back up. So walk your hands up. Hips high. Heels close to the ground. Opposite hand taps your opposite foot. Good. You can come up into an upward facing dog as well. Tap, tap. Walk your feet to meet your hands. We're going to go 10 more seconds. We're going to start to get a little more. Uh, explosive, a little more active. So take your time on this one. Have any uh, kinks, any knots, crunchies, stop. Give it a second. Good. So now once you come back into your downward dog, instead of touching your toes, so you walk your hands up, you're going to be in your downward dog. Bring your feet up, tap, back into your downward
downward dog, and then walk your hands back to meet your feet. So it's like a little tuck jump. Good. Come back. Good. Stand up. Give me a couple high knees, Wadi. Da, 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 da. And then go right back down into that inchworm. Walk your hands up from your feet. Good. Boom. Pop those feet up to your hands. Good, Jen. And then hit back into your downward dog. Good. 30 more seconds. We're going to do three of those tuck jumps now. Three of them. And then sit back into your downward facing dog. Good. 15 more seconds. Walk out. Good. Good. Three, two, one. And at a time, stay in that plank position, mountain climbers, or go world's greatest. So nice elbow to ankle. Add a twist either way. Right hand to right elbow. Good. Twist both directions. So twist towards your right leg and then twist away. Good. And then a quick switch. Switch like you're doing mountain climbing. Yes, Jen and Sarah. Elbow to ankle. Twist. And quick switch. Good. Boom. Quick switch. So on your own for another 10 seconds, and then I'm just gonna, we're going to go quick back and forth. Good. The bun is falling out. It's getting real. <laughs> the workout's already getting real. <laughs> Good. And here we go. So quick switch. Pause. Good. Quick switch. Quick switch. Quick switch. Quick. Switch. <laughs> switch, switch. Good, and rest. So, we're gonna come over to the wall, we're gonna do a last little stretch, and then we're gonna get started. So, on your own, we're gonna come up left foot next to the wall, right hand next to it, and we're just gonna open up. Open up. So you're gonna do five per side, and then you're gonna change. Spin around, opposite leg next to the wall. So start with your left foot next to the wall, left foot next to the wall, Keeping your whole side body touching the wall at the same time, lift that right foot up. So you're gonna come into like a single leg RDL, and then you're gonna windmill open, keep that left hand into the wall. So like this, yep, so you're here, open and close. Open and close, really getting into those hips. Good, if you can, keep your leg straight behind you. Three more opens, and we'll change sides. Good, open up, stack those hips, good. Good, three more and then change sides. Good, boom, spin around, opening up that whole chain. There we go. Change feet, three, two, one, and go. We have 15 seconds here. Good, so keep your foot elevated the whole time. You're just opening up, fan open, feel that nice stretch in your adductors, your inner thigh. Feel that stretch coming all the way across your chest. Down your leg, and we're activating those hamstrings. Three more reaches. Well done. Good. Two more. Good. One more. Open up. Awesome. And time. Woo! Come on back to your step. Here we go. So we are going to start off with your boxes, chairs, sofas, whatever you guys have to elevate. We're going to do an elevated hip bridge with this full pressure. So Jen. J Money, J Sauce, can you show us please? She's going to come down, she's going to elevate her feet. Good. Pushing those heels into the box, lifting her hips up, and then she's going to do some skull pressure. So those dumbbells are going to come together by her face, good, and they're going to bring her skull. She's going to extend through the elbows. Awesome. Tricep workout. Don't be like me. I think you should have better with the dumbbells. Don't actually crush your skull. Yeah, don't actually do that. Last time we did these, I legitimately cracked my head with the dumbbells. Don't do that. Okay, here we go. So elevating your feet, Sarah has plates. Ow, ooh, that's a nice little grip strength challenge there. Um, so does Wilfred, he has a big plate. And then Watson has a single dumbbell. So you have a lot of variations here. So we are gonna go five rounds of one minute, 30 seconds a side. There's no changing here unless you wanna go one arm at a time, alternating. Other than that, here we go. Three, two, elevate those feet, push your hips off the ground, and go. So keep those hands close together when you're doing those skull pressures. So in, if you're just learning how to do this, drop down to one dumbbell. Drop down to one dumbbell. And think about keeping your elbows pointed straight in front of you. They're not pointing to the side. You have a nice 90 degree, 40 or 45 degree if it feels good on your elbows. Um, I reach those dumbbells overhead. So notice how Jen's, Jen's back here in the corner. 
So notice how Jen, see how her actual humerus, the top part of her arm, isn't moving. She's just hinging at the elbows. We're halfway. Good. So Wilfred's off, opting to keep, there you go. So he's bending his elbow and he's tapping that plate just over his head. Same thing. So Watson has one dumbbell. If you would like it harder, you could always come up to a single leg hip bridge if you want a little more glute hammy activation. Hi, we have two takers. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome. Our next one is going to be a plank row. So grab one of your dumbbells. Okay? So you can either do this on the ground like a renegade row, or you can do it elevated like these four are going to do, which is much bigger core demand. So Jen's going to be over there. You can either do it on your hands or your forearms, depending on the height of your implement. So Jen's going to come up to her hand. She's going to on her forearm. Good. And then she's going to roll it up. Make sure we're aiming for that end of the dumbbell towards our hip. We don't want to pull it into our armpit. We want to activate the lat. So think about reaching down a little bit farther in that row. Here we go. 30 seconds to side. Three, two, one, and go. Wilfred and Watson, the Wilsons, thought ahead and got a mat for their forearms. Sarah is on her hands um, using a plate. Good. Make sure there's no movement in the hips. This is the biggest part of this exercise besides it being an upper body pull. If it's a big core demand, we're going to want our hips to flail open. Keep them closed. Pull those ribs in nice and tight to your body. Good. If you would like it harder, lift your opposite leg. Three, two, and halfway. I will give you time to switch over. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Opposite side. Actively pushing into your box chair, sofa, or the ground with that grounded arm and your feet. Watson is elevating his opposite leg, meaning he is rowing with his left arm and his right leg is elevated. Again, no movement in those hips. Pull those ribs in nice and tight. Well done, everybody. We have 10 seconds. Beautiful. Three, two, one, and time. Great. Watson, can you please demonstrate our split squat with a tricep extension? So again, 30 seconds aside. Watson's going to come in front right here. He's going to put one foot in front of the other in a split squat position. Good. His feet are going to stay grounded. And he's just going to dip down and up, extending. Pretty similar to those skull crushers. Just extending from the elbow. Notice how he keeps his back nice and flat. Pulling those ribs in. He doesn't flare out at the ribs. Here we go. Starting in three. Well done, Watson. Two. One. And go. Pull those ribs in nice and tight. Split squat. Good. Dip down as you come up. Extend your arm. Sarah has a plate. Good. Dip down. Extend. Now, if shoulder mobility is something you're working on, then don't go down as deep behind your head. Keep it a little more shallow of a tricep extension. 10 seconds and we're halfway. Good. And that's okay. This will help your shoulder mobility. We just don't want to force time. Change feet. We just don't want to force mobility into an unstable joint like a shoulder. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Stretching the legs. It's like... It's so tough. This exercise is harder than it should be because if you haven't noticed already, your feet are grounded. So we can't really produce much force with our feet. We really, it's a true core and shoulder exercise. Your poor triceps are going to cry today. Who said these rounds are a minute long? 30 seconds a side. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Good. Next. Exercise is the hamstring walks with the chest fly body to do the honor, please. So hamstring walks are basically three different types of glute hamstring bridges. We have our standard high glute bridge with our heels next to our butt. So Watson's going to do one and then one fly. He's then going to walk out halfway out, good, a little bit, one fly. And then he's going to walk out where just his legs are just, or sorry, his knees are just bent. He's in a stiff-legged sprinter bridge. Boom, chest fly, and then he'll come up back to medium. Chest fly, and then he'll come up back to high. Light reach, light weight. Yes, light weight. Light weight, please. No torn pecs here. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's do it. So, starting off with those hips high, heels close to your butt. 
One chest fly. Good. Walk them out halfway in between. Split the difference. One chest fly. Dig those heels into the ground. If you want, you can lift your toes up to put that onus on that force production through your heels. Good. Activate that posterior chain and out. Take your time with this. Obviously, you could go faster. We really want to focus on making sure. One, we're moving slow through the chest fly. Two, our hips are stable. We are halfway through those glute bridges. Three, we are not arching our back. Okay, if you feel like you're arching your back or this is feeling pinchy on your back, lower down all the way. Squish that lower back into the ground and then squeeze your glutes to lift your hips up. A lot of times we try to find that hip height by arching that lower back. It doesn't need to be high. We want our hips, shoulders, and knees to be in one line. We're done in three, just like Watson and Wilfred, two, and time. Good. Grab those two dumbbells. Wadi, could you please demonstrate the offset on uh, asymmetrical clean into uh, reverse lunges, please? You're going to need two dumbbells, or you could use one. Wadi's going to demo with two. So we're going to start off in an offset stance, meaning one foot's going to be just in front of the other, or a sprinter stance, as some call it. Wadi's going to reach down, and he's going to clean those dumbbells, or kettlebells if you have them, to his shoulders. One. And then he's going to go two. Two reps, and he's going to take a step back with that left foot. One, and two split squats. Good. And then we'll come back to center, and I'll let you guys know when to change halfway. Here we go. Let's do it. You can use kettlebells, too. If it was me, I would use kettlebells. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. So offset. Let's have everyone put your right foot in front. Just keep it simple. Hinge down. Drive up, make those weightless. So it's not so much of a muscle with your arms. I want to see it weightless because of your legs. Looks like Watson needs heavier dumbbells. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. We will switch legs halfway. The weight distribution should be 90-10, 95-5. You want your full chest and chin over those toes in the front. And change sides, change sides. Good, halfway. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Good. So two cleans. Bring those dumbbells to your shoulders. Good. And then keep them there. Two split squats in the back. Good. So again, notice how Watson, when he's reaching down into that offset deadlift, see how his chin and his chest are really far with those toes. That's to make sure your front leg's doing all the work. Ten seconds. Good work. Jen has one kettlebell, as is Sarah. Three. Two, one, and time. That's round one. Let's do it. We have four more to go. <laughs> Here we go. We'll see what happens as we get to the end. Maybe the magic Gina the genie will come and save the day. Here we go. Happy Seco de Mayo. We are earning all those tacos and burritos and margaritas and everything else. Those tequila shots. Let's go. We're, we're earning it. Three, two, one, and go. So we're elevating hip bridge with a skull crusher. Actively pushing into your heels, pull your toes up towards your shins. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze them. Try to grab onto your shorts or tights with your glutes. You're squeezing so hard. Good. So again, if your arms are getting tired working together, you can alternate your slow pressure. So extend one arm, bring it down. Extend the other, bring it down. We are just about halfway. Watson's box is moving a little faster. Thank you. 
been a while. It's been a while. We must be flying right now, though. Pull your toes up towards your shin. Lots of intention in those feet. Good. Make sure, again, your knees, hips, shoulders are in a line. We are not arching in our lower back. And to help prevent that, think about pulling your ribs in tight to your body. So not just the belly button to your spine, a little bit more than that. Pull those ribs in tight. Good. Halfway, everybody. So if you're doing a single leg, change legs. Awesome work, Jen. Awesome work, Sarah. Notice how their elbows are pointed straight in front and not to the sides. Keep those elbows tight. If I could have a string or a piece of rope, I would tape your arms to be closer together. Ten seconds. Good. If you want a true challenge, time. Next time, put like a medicine ball in between your elbows so you have to squeeze it and keep that trajectory. Everyone's not moving. We got this, guys. Let's go. Two, one, and 
weights up to your shoulders. Two reps, one, good Watson. Hinge down, drive through the ground, two, and then take a small step back, split squats. One, beautiful Watson, two, good. Make sure we're not going, we're not bringing that weight lower than our knee. Really kind of stop around knee high. Stop around knee high. Why? Because we start losing that integrity in our lower back. Awesome work, Jen. Good work, Sarah. We're halfway to one. Halfway. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Take a step back. Hinge down. 95, five. Weight distribution from front leg to back leg. Yes, Watson. Take, keep those weights high. Take a step back again, make sure we're driving through that front leg is doing all the work as you could probably feel. Good, Jen. Nice, Sarah, they're going for kettlebell, single arm cleans. 10 seconds into a one arm split squat. Beautiful. Good time. Nice. This is round four. Here we go. Three, two, an elevated hip bridge. I'll wait for you guys to get there. Elevated hip bridge. Watson, I'll come and take today over here. Three, two, one, and let's go. Hips off the ground, driving through those heels, pull those ribs in nice and tight, feet over the knees. Good. Extend, Watson is alternating. Well done, the four. Well done, everyone at home. Keep battling. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I am holding the box. Watson's box is screwing away from him, so I'm keeping it next to him. Good. You guys are halfway. Halfway, 30 seconds. Second to last time you're doing these. Good, keep breathing. Pull those ribs in tight. Your abs should be switched on. Again, we're not arching our lower back. Great work, we have 10 seconds left. Good, keep breathing. Good, well done. Three, two, one, and time. Plank rows, let's get it. Let's get it, plank rows. Again, staying on your forearm or coming up to your hands. Here we go, up in three, two, one, and let's go. We got this, good. Actively driving into your forearm. Pull that dumbbell up about hip high, or aim for hip high. Look at, we have Wilfred and Sarah are on their hands. Jen is as well. Good, Wilfred also has his opposite foot elevated. Make it a little more difficult for that core stability. Good, Sarah is using a kettlebell. The other three are using dumbbells. Multi-implement friendly and switch sides. We are halfway. Well done. Here we go in three, two, one, and go. Yes. Pull it up, pull it up. Again, actively engaging with your box, chair, sofa, floor. Push into it, don't sag down. Good, 15 seconds. Pull those ribs in nice and tight. No movement in those hips. Keep them facing the floor. And if you need help doing that, make your feet a little bit wider apart. Good, Jen. Keep going. Five seconds, three, two, one, and time. Awesome. Split squat with a tricep extension. Last rep, or sorry, second to last time we're doing these. Here we go. In three, two, one, and let's go. So different implements and different ways of holding it. Good, split down. So again, we really don't want to dump into our back. So I was like, Chen, yeah, just do it. Like, who needs a 20 when you have a 26? <laughs> Good, 10 seconds till halfway. So again, elbows pointing forward. Keep your arms tight to your head. We are halfway free. Two, halfway, if you cannot help but feel it. Other side, three, two, one, and go. In your lower back, then one, eliminate the range of motion on that tricep extension. Or two, eliminate the split squat. So hold it here, take a step back, and when you stand up, soft bend of the knees, tricep extension not locked out, because that's where we tend to dump in our back, pull your ribs in tight to your body. To make it work, and if the lunges aren't your thing either, then just 
keep your feet next to each other and do a tricep extension. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Woo! Here we go. Hamstring locks. Hamstring locks. Let's do it. In three. Starting on your back.
two, one, and go. Pull that dumbbell up a little bit closer towards your hips. 90 degree in that elbow when it's flexed. Easing those glutes. Don't let those hips roll open. Awesome work. Keep pushing. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Good. Well done. Three, two, one, and time. Split squat, tricep extension. We are almost there. We are almost there. Light at the end of the tunnel. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. So one foot's in front of the other. Split squat, dip down again. Variations. Do a reverse lunge. Stand up and do a tricep extension. Or just keep your feet together. Soft bend in your knees. And do a tricep extension from standing if lunges aren't your thing. Hmm? Either way, you're going to feel it. You're absolutely right. You just have to pick your own poison, you know? Five seconds and then we'll change legs. It's very flattering lighting. Change legs. You guys look like a bunch of models in here. Hi. Three, two, one, and go. Whew, everyone's cheekbones are on point. Yes, almost there. Dip down, drive up. Good, 15 seconds. Yes, you can. Keep your eyes forward. Try not to drop that chin towards your chest. If you Sorry. find yourself dropping your chin, um, we need to keep rolling out your shoulders. That is a compensation pattern for tight shoulders. Two, and time. Woo! Put that to the back. Here we go. What's next? Hamstring box. Let's do it. High, medium, low. High, medium, low. You can do a single leg. You can do a double leg. Make sure the chest fly with every rep. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. One minute. One minute. Take your time. If your arms are dying, hold them in front of your face and just focus on the hammies. If your hammies are dying, focus on the chest flies. If everything's dying, alternate arms. Good, 45 more seconds. Don't be afraid to alternate arms. Good, long levered, stiff legged bridge. Dig those heels in, feel that initiation, that engagement of your whole posterior chain. We are halfway, halfway. Make sure those toes are pulled up towards your shin. Lots of engagement. Nice walks in, 15 seconds left. Great work, Wilfred. Keep going, Sarah. You're killing it back there. Sarah has her plates. Again, as is Wilfred. We have five seconds, and then we ditch these. Three, two, one, and time. Later, hamstring walks. Okay, here we go. We have those two asymmetrical cleans, sprinter, stands, whatever, offset, three different flavors of the same name for you into those two split squats. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. So two, make sure that chest and chin are well over your front toe, actively driving into the floor to make those dumbbells weightless. Big toe into the ground. Good. Front leg is doing all the work. That poor front leg has 15 more seconds left, and then we change. Good. Pull those ribs in tight the whole time. The brakes for those weights reaching down is your core. Pull your ribs in, squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. Two, one, change your lead leg. Three, two, one, and go. So again, proper core engagement. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Pull those ribs in tight to your body. Again, those are your brakes as you reach down with those dumbbells. Good. 15 seconds left. Beautiful. Ten now. Nice. I'm like Yoda. Now ten. Three, two, one, and time. Woo! We made it through the main block. So now we have our finisher block, which is 30 second rounds, 15 seconds a side. Um, and then we'll see. It's five rounds. We'll see how I feel with the last two. For sure, the first three are going to be. Uh, 15 seconds a side or a 30 second round. 
Grab some water. That was a brutal first block. So, Lottie, can you please demonstrate a Copenhagen plank? We're bringing them back. It's a Copenhagen plank. So, you're going to be in a side plank. Your top foot's going to be elevated on your forearm, or you can come up to your hand if you want to. Inside the foot, on your sofa, chair, box, yep. <laughs> and then uh, Watson's going to add that additional pressure of his top hand and bottom knee. Can you show him a classic OG, easy one, and then your top arm straight overhead. Boom. So that's level one or level two, like Watson was doing. He was actively putting pressure between that bottom knee and his top arm. Okay? We're going to go 15 zero. seconds aside. Hmm? Level like zero. Level zero. Watson, can you come back in that Copenhagen plank? Level zero is keeping that bottom knee on the ground. And you're just putting in however much force and pressure you'd like on the inside of that top foot on whatever implement you have. 15 seconds aside. You guys can do it. It's pretty quick. Here we go. Ready? We got this. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm proud of everybody. I'm proud of people at home. It's Taco Tuesday. I was going to say Thirsty Tuesday, but it's not it. Cinco de Mayo. Ready? Three, two, inside of the foot on top of wherever you have. One, and go. Hips off the ground no matter what variation. Again, if you need level zero, leave that bottom knee on the ground. Good. Top arm straight. Everyone push your hips forward. Shoulders, hips, knees need to be into a line.
opposite foot on top. One, and let's go. So make sure your hips are forward in line with your shoulders and knees. If you're having a hard time doing that, or if this is hurting your top knee, then scoot all the way down so that your whole lower leg is supported by that implement. Good. You could also lower your, bo your bottom knee like Jen. Good. Wilfred and Wilson are, I'll just say Wilson. <laughs> 10 seconds are doing that active pressure between their top arm and bottom knee. Three, two, one, and time. Good. Heading over to that alternating lunge clean. I can't see that far, but I'm guessing that's what it is, right? Yeah. Here we go. 30 seconds. Round two in three, two, one, and go. Up, oh, good, you are welcome. Thanks for joining us. I think that's Carolyn, if I could guess right. I'm bad at guessing candles. We are halfway. Good, reach down, bring it up to your shoulders. Reach down, bring it up to your shoulders. Beautiful. Good work, Sarah. Sarah has kettlebells in the back, so not sure if you can see her. Three, two, one, and time. Taco planks, taco planks, here we go. And three, two, one, let's do it. So taco plank, 15 seconds aside. If you can't see, you're just joining us. It's here, so you're going elbow to ribs. Elbow to wrist, or you can go elbow to elbow, wrist to wrist, or combine all four. Two, one, we're halfway, change lights, and go. We are still going, yes. Val is loving it. Three, two, one, and time, dumbbell skiers. An executive decision may be made here. Keep going. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. Good. Good. We got started a little late today, too, Val. Good. Beautiful, everybody. Sit those hips back and then launch them forward. Good. Squeeze those glutes. Do it. Yo, don't be scared. Just do it. You're safe with me. 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Time. Last round with the 30 seconds of time. The last two is going to be much quicker. Here we go. So round three, Copenhagen plank, 15 seconds aside. Last round of the 30 second rep scheme, and then I'm going to change it up. Here we go. Top foot on the box, 15 seconds aside. Three, two, one, and let's go. Always keep your bottom knee down, like I said, or if it hurts your knee, scoot so that your whole lower leg is being supported by your implement. Good. Five seconds, and then we switch hips forward, hips forward, hips forward, and change sides. Spin around. Good. Three, two, other side, one, and go. Awesome. Almost there. <laughs> Oh, man, I didn't know. <laughs> <The box> slipped. <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> Three, and two, yes. one, and time. Let's go, all turning lunch, please. You guys are doing awesome. We got it, we got it, we got it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Reach down, catch, lunge back. Good, reach down, catch, lunge back. Woo! Love it. Good. We are halfway. Keep going. Keep going. Light at the end of the tunnel. We have seven, eight people left with us. <laughs> Stay with us. We're almost there. Don't leave me. Don't leave us. Don't leave them alone with me. Two, one, time. Here we go. Dumbbell skiers. Last 30 seconds. Or no, taco planks. 15 seconds aside. What's up, Abby? Here we go. Taco planks. Three, two, one, and go. Elbow to wrist. Elbow to wrist. Keep your knee up. Keep your knee up. Good. Down, up. Down, up. Actively pushing into the ground. Switch in five, four, three, two, one, 
change sides and go. Taco planks, taco planks. Good, up and down, up and down, good. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, time. We have last round. We're just gonna do five of everything. Okay, yeah. that's it. Five Copenhagen's and I'll count it out for you guys. Okay? The skiers? Oh yeah, the skiers. That's right. Thanks, Watson. I'll still let you guys go on with that. This is so honest. Honest engine, gentle. It's the only thing I like. It's the one I like. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. I'm in the way of the YouTube, sorry. You didn't miss anything, YouTubers, I promise. Good. Good. Halfway. Halfway. It helps me just imagine how to skin. Yes. Okay, we're getting cut off here, guys. Five seconds. Our line's getting cut off. Three, two, After one. Hour. Time. Yep, our line is off. Catch us on YouTube. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We don't have to keep going then, do we? No, you don't. Actually, I was just having you guys do five of everything. YouTube but... is still alive. Five seconds? Five reps? Huh? I need five reps. Five reps of everything. I was just going to count out the Copenhagen's. It's up to you guys. That was a lot. That's okay. You can turn on YouTube now. Okay. Your yeah, live video. Your live video. We'll do it off to the side. Yeah. They did it. <laughs> 